Welcome to Books Without Borders. Today we'll look at The Angel's Game by Carlos Ruiz Afon. This is the story of David Martin, a young novelist who sells his soul when he accepts a small fortune in exchange for writing a piece of fiction. Faith is ignited among gullible sinners as a result of this. As the stakes escalate to murder in the abandoned mansion where David lives, there are buried clues to a mystery as they are buried in the abandoned mansion. Despite the fact that books have always been his refuge, helping him survive a troubled childhood, he soon realises that his life as a writer is destined to cost him everything, including his beloved Christina, the one woman who dared to warn him against giving up on his artistic freedom. A novel about obsession both in literature and in love. The Angel's Game is a page-turner, an intricate labyrinth of secrets combines books, passion, and friendship to create a compelling story. This gothic horror story focuses on writing, ambition, faith, loneliness, found family, and the dark side of humanity, which I found thoroughly fascinating. This book features the characterization of the main character, David Martin, and those he meets along the way, especially Isabella and the Sempere family. Like Daniel Sempere, the protagonist of the previous book, David Martin isn't a kind person who's easy to get attached to. When compared to Daniel, David lives a relatively harsher life, is cynical, and sometimes treats people horribly. Unlike Daniel, who is accompanied by his dad and Furman, David's life is one of loneliness and bad luck. I found his struggle to find love and companions an interesting glimpse, a darker one, into a life of hardship that many people go through every day. Despite David's lack of likability, his character development has a stronger sense of consistency that I found enjoyable to read throughout the novel. There was a point where I got lost halfway through the book, I knew who the publisher was, but I couldn't figure out how that was going to tie into everything else. This definitely isn't a book you should be reading before bedtime if you're thinking about reading it. When I finally managed to push through that section, I was back on track and eager to find out how it all ended once again. Despite the conclusion, I won't go into too many details, I'm eager to start reading the next installment of The Angel's Game as soon as possible after finishing this one. The Angel's Game is the darkest, most thrilling, and gripping installment of the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series. I've enjoyed this series so far for a series outside my favourite genre to read, and look forward to seeing how the story develops. If you've liked this review, please check out our channel and subscribe. You can find many more reviews like this one on our channel from a number of different titles. Thank you for watching.